Oh no, that's the wrong draw. What an idiot. Hey everybody, I hope everybody is doing uh, fantastic. Um, I've done a couple of these videos showing what I keep in some of my toolboxes. So I thought I'd show you what I keep, a few draw, a drawer or two in the Mac toolbox and then this uh, snap-on one as well. So a few of you said, oh, show us what else is in the other drawers. So if that's what tickles you about, I'll do, I'll do another tour. Um, so what should I do? Um, vice grips. So I'll show you what's in my uh, vice, vice grip drawer. Um, I've got this um, sort of three-piece generic set I bought a while back off Amazon. I've got this um, blue point um, chain wrench, ratcheting wrench, which I picked up on the flea market, which I'll probably do a guess the price on when there's no car boots going. Um, I've got this chain wrench here, also um, a vice grip brand. And then I've got a larger vice grip here, like, um, um, and then um, a welder's clamp, pin clamp. And then here I've got some more interesting ones. I've actually, for some reason, picked up four of these miniature mole grip which are made in England which are like early uh, vice grips so I've got four of these one two three, three four so for some reason um, I've got several of these I also got this um, miniature vice grip as well which is uh, got like a parrot's beak on it for, for grabbing square nuts so that's kind of cool, but a miniature one. So for some reason, I keep collecting these and I forget I've even got them and I keep buying them. Um, I've also got some unusual sort of vice grips which clamp on um, and then obviously clamp different different ways. Um, standard like miniature pin ones. Must I think I picked them up for 50p on the car boot. Um, an older dirty vice grip I've not cleaned up yet with the parrot grip I also paid a pound for that so about one dollar twenty five um, I picked this up recently which is kind of cool which is a mole grip and obviously it's designed to like and it's got like a rubber flat and two flats so that's like an, a unique design I don't know if any of you have seen that kind of uh, mole grip uh, vice grip before then we've got the standard mole grips um, which I've picked up and then we've got a um, needle nose, which are always useful, uh, good for. And then I've got these, which I picked up on the car boot sale, which are Ghidorah, uh, Ghidorah brand, which are a German brand for clamping round stock, which are kind of cool. I don't know if you guys have ever seen anything like that for the Ghidorah ones. And then I've got this vice grip here, but it's a vice grip pipe cutter. I don't know if you've seen one of those before. They're kind of cool. I picked that up recently. That still needs a clean up. And then we've got this unusual parrot beak style here, which these are BGS, kind of unusual, but they just they just grabbed my attention once when I saw them. So that's my um, sort of overview. I've got quite a few small ones. I mean, how big are those small ones? It can't be big. Let's have a look. Um, they are like a four and a half inch stroke five inch so they're quite they're quite small the old five inch ones and they're quite early these uh, but for some reason i must have seen them maybe because they're small i've picked them up that must be the reason why but yeah so that's my uh, over overview of the uh of uh let me find another draw i'll do pliers so this is my uh sort of plier draw I got these magnetic uh, rails, so things they stand up and you just you just stick them back in and they sort of stand up and they don't fall, which is helpful. So let's go through there. For some reason, I've got some punches in there. I don't know why I put them in there. Um, I picked these up and I kind of like them. Um, made in Sweden, these uh, duck bills. So I'm going to clean these up, but they really go to quite a fine point. So I quite like those. Um, I picked these up as well, these um, Utica Tools USA, which is kind of cool. Um, we got some snap-on duck bills, smaller ones. Um, we have um, standard needle nose, those are, those are snap-on. I picked these up quite interestingly. Um, Pacific pliers for obviously 
doing a Pacific job, but these are Nipex, so I thought they were cool, so I couldn't help myself. We've got some slip joints, uh, snap-on slip put joints, they're good. Um, and then we've got snap-on uh, side cutters or dykes, kind of good. And we've got some needle nose. We've got the long reach duck bills, they're always cool. We've got um, high leverage pliers, these are the balls, these. Really, really cut. You can see the, the different colour of the metal where they've been hardened, case hardened. But I've cut some serious stuff with these. Uh, we've got bent needle nose. And um, we've got a Nipex needle nose. You can see I've got a problem with needle nose. I picked these up recently, never seen these before. And they've got some sort of thing. I'm sure Magdad did a video on those, showing what they were for, like a piercing cutting tool. They were for a Pacific rope work or something, but I forgot. Um, but if they were Bernard, I think those. These are a British brand, but they're the same thing. We've got a long set of dykes, neat and long nose dykes. We've got a standard um, hole maker for belts. They're always useful. And then we've got a set here, needle nose dike. They're teched in those ones at the back. Um, this side, we've got um, a Nipex high leverage wire cutters. Those are really good. And I'll tell you what's really good are these high leverage, high leverage pliers from uh, Snap-on. These are really grip. Once you've got a hold of these with those teeth, you ain't getting out of them, I'm telling you. Those are really good. We've got these Nipex uh, small uh, steel wire cutters. Those are really good as well. Cut some serious stuff. We've got these, um, what are they called? Uh, parrot, parrot nose. Um, those are quite good. Um, Nipex as well. And I don't know if you have this brand in the US. NWS is a German brand. Kind of cool. Um, these are wire strippers. Then we've got some bent nose. If you're going to get the uh, tools, my advice is to get these ones which are like chromed or plated because they don't rust. So if you're going to choose one, go for the chrome ones. Some more needle nose. And these are kind of cool. They've got multi-tool, so you've got like a large diameter wire cutter. We've got wire strippers. We've got a crimping tool. We've got um, a sort of plier, standard plier mouth for getting on round stock. And then you've got like a needle nose. These are really good for electrics work. Um, like five tools in one, they're really cool. So I recommend those, um, really good. So yeah, um, we've got a standard wire, large gauge wire cutter stripper. Really good there, Nipex as well, which are a good brand in Europe. Then we've got these again, but these are chromed. You can see they're chromed and they're really nice. See the shine on them. They don't rust, so these are really good. So there are, there are a few extra dollars or a few extra pounds, but they're worth the money in my opinion. And then last but least, last but least, we've got, um, a, what do you call it? We've got a bent nose pliers, NWS again. Is it time to show one more drawer? Eight minutes. All right, I'll show another drawer. Um, what another drawer? Which one should I go for? I'll go files. Um, so this is my file drawer. So I've got loads of files. I've got rasps, standard files, Shinto files, backhoe files, which are really good. Uh, Snap-on, which which backhoe files are Snap-on files. We've got here. Um, oh, that's kind of cool. That might be interesting. Um, here, this is my bolt threading kit, and you can run these over bolts. I'm sure you Americans will know this. Um, you can run this over bolts to re-thread the nuts. So it's like a, a t it's like a die set, but just for running over nuts and bolts. So you've got metric SAE, uh, fine thread, coarse thread, and then we've got some uh, standard, uh, you know, uh, thread files for different size threads, different gauges, threads, so you can clean their threads up. So this is my um, uh, thread and tap. I've used it a couple of times and it's been useful. You know, when you've got a messed up bolt, you can just run, if you've got, oh, hopefully you can just run it down with a, um, with a wrench and then you just put this over the other end. So yeah, so that's my files, thread, etc. drawer. Got lots of files in here. Old files, new files. This is, I've got load handles and all sorts. This is good. John, 
Scout Crafter mentioned this, so I copied this idea. A little bit of a copper pipe, and then you can use it and run it along your files, and it'll clean the file out. And if it actually takes the shape as you're running it along the file, it'll take the shape, and you can clean you can clean all the rubbish out of the file. Really good tool. So yeah, that's my uh, three three drawers is enough now. We're at ten minutes. All right, thanks guys for watching. If anyone's got this far, well done. All right, thank you. Bye.